Hey, what's going on guys? Go Mike Kings here. In this video, we're going to be updating our castle in right. So, here I've provided uh, an explanation an explanation commentaries for you guys to give an a rough idea uh, of how this castle in rights updates is going to be working. So, let's consider that we have uh, this binary re representation of our uh, castle variable which uh, stores the uh, castle in rights of the chest board globally in our case in our particular implementation and then we're making a move uh, with whatever piece to whatever square so uh, there, there would be uh, generally there would be two cases so if we're not moving king or a rook of whatever site in that case castle in rights are not about to be uh, changed and uh, we we would be um, we will now create an array of values uh, to bitwise and our castling rights with in order to update uh, uh, our castling castling rights every move. So that's why I call this uh, this uh, 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 column like move update. So. I would probably rather start implementing this array now and then uh, keep uh, uh, and then just keep explaining uh, keep the explanations of, of this schema here so uh, we, we need to implement what is known as castling rights update uh, array or update let's say constants probably is the right word because they're not really going to be changed so this this would be the constant uh, this would be the constant uh, integer and we call this castlin castlin writes and there would be up to 64 elements because we have uh, 64 elements 64 squares in our chessboard and here I just based my pre-coded uh, values for this and now uh, I just want to explain what does this uh, what all of this um, digits actually mean so the most of board is filled with a value of 15 and this means that if we just uh, take our castling right variable and update this with uh, an index of from square of source square and the target square whatever uh, occurs during making the move so say we have e2 e4 so we need to bitwise end our castling rights with uh, with e2 here so uh, this is the binary representation of 15 and uh, uh, which means the castling right initial castling rights when uh, ca both kings can castle whatever site and this uh, is mm, the representation of castling right update uh, move uh, squares so like this this 15 is the castle variable the global one the global variable within the board and this one so let, let me just let me just show you this so chess board go into chess board to just just to give you an idea of how it works uh, okay so Chessboard. So here we have this castle, and we also print this every time. Uh, every time we print, uh, we print in a board. So that's exactly the same variable. So ma make, make move. Okay. And it would just bitwise and the castling writes with this value, uh, which corresponds to the square of say we have the move e2 to e4. So 15 bitwise ended with 15, would it be 15? So uh, castling rights are not getting changed, and uh, 15 bitwise ended with 15 here on target square, it's not getting changed as well. But in case if we uh, uh, if the t uh, if uh, either the source or the target square is about to be uh, uh, reference in the squares were either king or rook occurring in this case uh, we'll have the following scenario so let's say the white king has moved this means that white is no longer capable of castling either king side or queen side so uh, we, we are bitwise ending our initial castling right with the value of 12 
uh, on this E1 square. So whatever uh, move has the E1 square in it, we're just making this bitwise operation and here is here how the Kasselin writes uh, variable looks like after this. So no longer uh, Kasselin is, is Kasselin is, lo is no longer available to either side. Now when the rook is about to move, uh, we have uh, the respective adjustments to our king uh, to our Kasselin right. So if uh, king's rook move this one. We can't castle king side any longer, and if queen's uh, rook move, we can't castle queen side any longer. And exactly the same goes for black pieces. So bearing this simple idea in mind, we're gonna be implementing our uh, the the logic of updating the castling rights uh, within uh, within our make move function. And now you might wonder, like, why do we actually need to? bitwise and our castling rights uh, with the target square so not only with the source square to uh, match the cases when either the king or rook's moving but, but but why do we also need to bitwise end this with the target square that's because uh, if it happens one day that the rook is gonna be captured so if the rook is, is gonna is gonna get captured obviously this would disallow uh, the uh, this castling, uh, this castling right to castle because the, there won't be any rook uh, ever. Because when we're generating the moves for our king, it doesn't take uh, into account the availability uh, of this rook basically, it just takes care about mm, the castling right. So, if we don't have this rook, then obviously we need just to uh, 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 this low king to castle to the appropriate side to, to the corresponding side. Okay, so let's now go and implement this. Uh, probably it would be also a good idea to show you how exactly how exactly uh, it works now. Well, now it doesn't actually updating castling rights uh, if uh, if it comes to castling moves so but yeah uh, i will just now implement this uh, and then show you how it should actually be working so here we want to update our castling rights and i'm doing this just right below handling the castling moves so uh, uh, update castling rights and we're just taking our castle variable and bitwise ending it like bitwise end equals with our castling rights array and indexed by the source square and the same but also indexed by the target square for the reasons uh, I've just explained so target square here and if we just now go to go and test this, well, let's let's compile and run the source first. So I need to say make debug, and if it makes, I want to run the BBC binary executable. Uh, excuse me. Oh, what do I? Something. Oh, it's just the wrong. It's just the wrong place. Uh, hold on a sec, guys. I just had a wrong uh, path within my editor, sorry for that. So now this should work actually. So make debug and if it compiles, I want to run the BBC binary executable. Okay, so now you see like canceling rights obviously not changing because mm, it's not about it's not the matter of moving the king or rooks. And yeah, so the the position seems to be original. So let's calmly wait until it comes to either king moves, uh, uh, king moves or rook moves. Well, we're starting with the black pieces, but it's not really that uh, big deal actually. We need to test this for both pieces. Okay, I'm just wondering. Okay, so now the rook is moving. So you see, like this uh, queen side black rook has just moved. And this took away the ability to castle queen side from the black uh, castle queen side from from the black king. So you see, like this has been taken away. Now it takes back. This is restored. Okay. And now again, as far as the rook moves, we're just taking uh, away the right to castle queen side. Now the same, but uh, black king can no longer castle to king side. 
which is important again the same and again the same and again the same okay and now when it comes to kin move so if kin has castled kin which means that kin has moved actually which means that no uh, that no castling is longer available uh okay and the same if it just castles opposite side but if kin just moves it also doesn't allow him to castle uh for black king it has no longer uh it doesn't have any rights uh, uh, to castle uh, either king queen side or king side and this this is the same case and now let's just uh let's just switch the uh, side to move and now it would be white and let's have a look how okay so here we go for white moves uh, well it was a little bit too okay so it's probably yeah starting from from here so white white rook moves and we're just taking away uh, the right of white king to castle queen side and again white rook, rook moves can't castle queen side anymore and again can can uh, castle queen side now we can't castle king side and again the same and again uh, okay so now it goes for this queen okay and if white king castles it can it can no longer castle to either side uh, same for queen side castling and if it king just moves away from its original square we can we can castle any longer and same for this part well this is it from my side guys at least for this tutorial so this is quite pretty simple idea of how we can handle uh, the castling rights and uh, update and uh, update them uh, accordingly and this this particular te technique is taken from Richard Albert also known as Blue Fever Software when I was initially following his legendary chess engine in C prog programming chess engine in C series so that's the exact idea taken from from his from his engine it just uh, has mm, uh, it just Fits the, it fits the bit boards exactly the same he just used the uh, mm, 12 and 10 uh, bo uh, array board representation and in this case we only have like we only have uh, 64 board squares but the idea is literally the same because it's not the matter of uh, representing the board but it's just the matter of uh, keeping track of the castling rights and to update them anytime uh, every time uh, when it needs to be done basically well, okay guys so uh, I really appreciate appreciate you watching this tutorials and following this series uh, I encourage you to try uh, all all the, all the stuff shown in this videos on your own so make sure to have uh, to have your own experience uh, that's the reason why I'm showing every single step uh, I'm making because I obviously I could have made uh, one big video for the entire make move function but the idea is to show you the exact steps that I personally follow when I'm great creating this from scratch so just bearing this in mind I wish you all the best guys so hope you hope to see you in the next video until then and take care